Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Allah the most beneficent and the most merciful uh, guys as I already told you that I am solving AP calculus 2018 past paper right and we already solved question 1 to question 24 this is a uh, question number 25 section 1 MCQ okay this question is very important okay this is a polar equation right it's a polar equation and here I want to tell you uh, what how to find the area of this shaded portion right so the polar curve r is equal to 1 minus cos theta r is equal to 1 plus cos theta these are the polar equations lima con polar equation okay which of the following expressions is the total area of this one right so it, it i cannot explain you right now because this is you know the polar equation it's based on an angle okay so i have a calculator i have a calculator okay in the, in the laptop Okay, so I will, I will show you here and then you can easily solve the question, right? So first of all, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you how to find the area, area of, so area is equal to 1 by 2 from A to B, R square D theta, where R is in the terms of theta, right? And 1 minus cos theta, 1 plus cos theta, right? So here, my dear, <coughs> I want to tell you, you know uh, this one okay this is okay this, this is our graph okay this is the graph of r is equal to 1 plus cos theta right this is the graph of r is equal to 1 plus cos theta and uh, here you can just make uh, the angle from where to where from for example if, if you can see here okay uh, for this one for example if you say r is equal to 1 minus cos theta so this will be from here this this direction uh, sorry this is r uh, 1 minus cos theta okay this is this side yeah okay and then you have this side this is the graph of r is equal to 1 plus cos theta and 1 minus cos theta when you see this will be the opposite direction okay so for example here and something like this one okay i will show you here uh, as you can see here uh, we have this application this most graphing calculator right when you enter this one uh, here you can see uh, like uh, can you see now okay this is a uh, polar lima cone right polar limocon open the graph okay so here you can see this is the graph of a plus b cos theta so here i'm going to write down one plus cos theta for example so if you just write down here one and here just write down this is one plus cos theta okay as i told you there this was the graph of what one plus cos theta right and as you just write down the minus here it will be this side see this direction right so this is this is 1 plus cos theta 1 and it's cos theta is from 0 to 2 pi right so here what we have to do if i take this one for example 1 minus cos theta okay and i want to see as as you can see this is okay this is from 0 to pi because this is from 0 to 2 pi okay so if i start from 0 to pi by 2 pi by 2 here it's pi by 2 you can see we just find out this one this graph right right and here we can just find out the area because this is the graph of 1 minus cos theta from 0 to pi by 2 this is your lower limit this is your upper limit okay and this is here you can see the first part and the same part we can just find here we have four symmetric here right so if we find the area of this part we will just multiply this one by four and we can get our area right and in the same way this is the graph of 1 minus cos theta right here you can say you have a uh, you know uh, four options the first option is one plus cos theta whole square okay so if if you say one plus cos theta right so if you say one plus cos theta okay and the, and the lower limit is zero two pi so see if you say just pi we cannot find the area of this part because we want the area of this part only right so ignore this part <coughs> and again if you say pi to pi by two so it will not accept this one because this is pi and this is what pi 2 pi by 2 it is impossible because there is a problem you can just make a uh, pi by 2 to pi 
you cannot make like uh, pi pi two pi by two, right? Okay. Well, so the last one you can see one minus cos theta as I as I, I will show you here. If you just write down one minus cos theta from zero to pi by two, you just find out this graph, right? This one. It's very simple, and one minus cos theta is given there in C, right? And here we will use this one one minus cos theta. Okay, r is equal to one minus minus cos theta. This is the graph of this one, and then you will see. Uh, r is equal to r is equal to one minus cos theta. Okay, from where to where? From from zero to pi by two. Okay, so I am going to use this one, and then we can find the area of this part only, like this part. Okay, we can just find out the area of this part. Okay, so how will you find the area one? Or you can say area one will will be one by two from zero to pi by two. And what is R? R is one minus cos theta, and this is what whole square, and this is what t, right? And now, if I want the full area, means four part, one, two, three, and four, all. So what will I do? The area we will multiply by four multiplied by a one. So this is four into a one is what one by two, zero to pi by two, one minus cos theta, whole square d theta. So as you can see. As you can see here, four divided by two is two, so you can say the total area is two, and then zero to pi by two, one minus cos theta whole square d theta. I hope guys you understand. This is matching with answer C. So the answer of this question is uh, C. Okay. So if you have a problem, just write down the comment. Whenever we have a time, we can uh, discuss with you. One more thing that this is a polar equation, right? And in the polar equations, we have different forms. Like this is Lyapunov, right? So this is the graph of one minus cos theta. Here I'm not going to explain in the deep way. I have to solve this question. So I told you that just find out the first part because it's very easy from zero to pi, right? From zero to pi, okay? You will just make one symmetric part and then multiply it by four. You can easily. find the total area assalam alaikum